Do you cheat on your diet? Who doesn't? But if your survival depends on eating well, and doctors say it does, how much now would you stick to the plan? And I'm sorry this sounds so militant, but <laughs> you, you can feel my frustration. This doctor, an associate professor in the Department of Urology at Houston's MD Anderson Cancer Center, found most of his patients would rather wait for a medical miracle to save them. And as he tries to tell them, science has no magic pill. Listen to what he told this 2011 conference on prostate health. I spend as much time talking to patients about their unhealthy lifestyle and dietary habits as much as the cancer. Fast food, fried food, lots of sugar and other simple carbs. Dr. Matten says you just get a one-way ticket to C-Town. We live in a culture that breeds cancer. And as for that magic pill, scientists have tried to find it in these so-called superfruits and vegetables. So far, they've come up empty-handed. In well-designed studies that look at these things, there's been no vitamin or micronutrient specifically that we found that can significantly reduce your risk of prostate cancer. And yet patients still come in hoping for some miracle of science to cure them. But as doctors will tell you, they have no cure. You can't make the cancer go away. And unfortunately for most of you, those types of interventions are not going to make things turn around, but they may set you up to be healthier and stronger to handle whatever stresses the cancer and us may throw at you. He's right. Eating and living better often can make your final days easier or even give you more time, but it rarely sends the cancer packing. At 6 on 25 News, we'll review the things we've learned today and maybe even help you get started on the way to better health. In Waco, Dennis Turner, 25 News.